Yo, my people, how are we doing today? Chelsea take on Crystal Palace at Stamford Bridge. Palace, we're going to Stamford Bridge, my first time there in five years. Am I confident? Not really. I think we're going to lose 2-0. Um, look, I'm looking forward to the away day. I've woken up in a good mood. I know it doesn't sound like it, but, I mean, our recent form has been shocking. Five defeats out of six in all competitions. Terrible. The board under pressure. We need to sign some players. We'll talk about that another time, potentially, at the end of this video, depending on the result. The players of Vieira are under pressure. We need a response. We need a spark. We need just to see something different and a bit more attractive football because the football recently has been horrendous we've hardly scored many goals either so it's not it's not looking good Chelsea have been on a downward spiral load of injuries Potter under pressure fans aren't happy fans are calling for his head fans from Chelsea were singing against Fulham in the last defeat you're not fit to wear the shirt I mean looking at the positive is they haven't got Jao Felix he's suspended the positive for Russell Mitchell is back for suspension so we actually got a proper left back so yeah um <laughs> it's one of them ones today so I love the derby it's gonna be a close one it could you know Things could get really nasty today, not just with the fans, but for both teams potentially, because both teams are playing so bad, whoever is to lose or things just don't go right, the pressure's going to mount and it could be a hostile and toxic atmosphere regarding both sides, you know, facing each other today and that. So, yeah, going to Stamford Bridge, I cannot wait. I'm looking forward to the day rather than the game, to be fair. Can Palace just not let me down again? They've done that plenty of times this season and can we just go there and just... Like I said, I just want to see a spark and a little something different. That's what I can answer, really. So I'll see you a lot on the way to Stamford Bridge. Come on the Palace, as always, and who knows what we're going to see today during this tense London derby by the looks of it. Listen, um, problems i got is that things at the club are a bit flat. We're not on form whatsoever. <laughs> Chelsea are not on form whatsoever. Yeah, mate, and basically, on, I think it's going to boil down to the fact that we were just a bit more crap than they are. Um, I'm not anticipating a great game. Um, I'm hoping somebody pulls off something brilliant. Do you think we'll score a goal? I'm hoping that we score a goal. <laughs> I'm hoping that the club. I'm hoping that the players turn up and put in a real shift today. Um, the problem being is that the, the, the Premier League mm. is so 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 competitive. Southampton seem to have turned the corner, so they're picking up points. Forest Wolves. Forest are picking up points. Wolves are picking up points. Um, Everton and West Ham are, are, are as crap now as they have been for the last three or four months. Mm. Um, so the bottom three at the moment are Southampton, Everton, West Ham. Oh, Bournemouth, don't forget as well. Oh, Bournemouth. Bournemouth are, Bournemouth are on the slide, so I think Bournemouth are going to mm. be going down. Um, and uh, we've got a real real bunch of tough games coming up. Mm. Um, and, and Everton, Chelsea are off form, so today's an ideal chance to beat them. But yeah. I don't think we are. There you go. Well, we're charity professional football FC for a reason. Joe, with Joe right here, what are your thoughts going into today's game, mate? Uh, I'm not particularly <laughs> optimistic considering yeah. recent results. Yeah, uh, yeah. I hope that we show a lot of fight and passion and desire to actually win the game today. Uh -huh. um, but honestly, I'm, as I said, I'm not particularly optimistic. Looking at the team lineup, yeah. it's the same as usual nice and rubbish. it's not very inspiring. Yeah, I'm going to be it's that bad. <laughs> if, it's a, if, I'm, if I'm predicting it, then I'd have to probably say 3 1 Chelsea. How you're going to play Ayer up front is not in his natural position. He's a number eight, like I've been saying, and decided to bend Edward and Ripper Mateta up. Never know. Uh, it's the same old stuff we've never learned, and it's just that uh, I can't even get excited, man. That's how bad it's getting right now after seeing that lineup. The fans, man, is flat, I can tell. I don't even want to go down below and start trying to win a game. I just want the game to start and see how we play, and then I'll decide at half time how good or how bad we are. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's a pretty good view though, where we are. I'll get Chelsea. That. It's a good away end and hopefully I'll see a goal today.
play in the defensive set piece. Played about what five minutes and Chelsea are dominating that spot. The amount of space they get in there is a talk, I swear to God. Header from Thiago Silva spawn right over from the corner there. The attitude from some of our players has been terrible, man. I'm losing it already, and we haven't even played five minutes. Sort it out, fellas. Hey, he actually caught it. Your thoughts right now? We played about Again, what, another, 17 another, minutes. Another, another poor start. We're still nil nil, mm. but I mean, we had a, yeah, right, we picked up a little bit, but yeah. it's, it's just not. It's a rubbish game, isn't it? Yeah, we're just not sort of functioning as a team. Mm. Yeah, it's one of the worst games we're ever going to see this weekend, you know. I just couldn't see Chelsea ever win it 2-0. But their fans aren't happy either, they've been poor. You know what I mean? I use that wide here. It's so predictable, our play. It's just like I've got no hope of us even getting a goal. We haven't even had a shot on target yet. That just shows how crap we are. Shots to Palace! Yeah! Come on! Yeah! Look at Free kick to Palace! Free kick to Palace! He had a chance, Mitchell should have scored! It was a good save from Kepa! Up, play the best football. That's what I care about. Come on, come on. He's had a chance. Elise, brilliant control shot. Save from Kepler. There's a Palace corner there. Come on, we're all over there. No rubbish. Not bad. Ah, oh, pulled away. Here he is. That's Kepler there, jogging around like a toilet brush there, man. Meanwhile, the corner. Wow. De Bruyne right away. By the way, the corner just got taken. It was a rubbish corner. I mean, nothing got done from it. Chelsea got fouled. Get up, Gallagher. Oh, rubbish. And Gallagher's just diving around for fun, taking a mix. Oh, Havertz missed a sitter there. Jorginho's trying to appeal for a penalty. It was a shocking as he headed it over. I thought it was in, but just about went over. Got away with one there. Flat defending though, straight through us. Another Chelsea corner. Take it by CX. Oh, my God. Doing now they never scored there. I will not know. Oh, the Lisa. Oh, Michael. Oh, Michael's made it. Ah, hesitated. He hesitated in the last minute. This running it just gave up. We're getting away with it, man. Defensively, man. They're not there. Okay, Madison's walking off. I don't know. I think Richards might be coming on. Is Richards coming on? Nah, I don't know. Oh, this day is going to go from bad to worse. Free kick to Chelsea. James James Topkin said he's James Topkin said he's ready to come on, but I don't understand why Richards is on the bench, a young centre back, and we're going to bring an old centre back on. his past. Bring Topkin on, need to go a goal down. Ooh, shooting across goal. Havertz sort of missed it. I couldn't even tell from where I was to be fair. But they're all over Chelsea. We're just capitulating. We're destroying. There's no balance in the team, and it's a load of crap. Chelsea were on the attack and should have scored. Ziyech with the volley. And Dyer punches it over for a Chelsea corner right on half time. Oh boy. Oh, come on. Oh. Half time. Half time. Half time. I'll take that. Heels. Half time. A real nil, it's been quite eventful. Hasn't been brilliant, but we'll take it. But remember the Tottenham game when it was nil-nil, we capitulated. And we got top kids on, so I'm still not hopeful. I think we need that dwell on for IU. Just got to balance it out, man, and take a few more risks. No, no, no at half time. Anderson's gone off injured. All right, oh, Tom can just come on. Um, you know, both teams have had chances to score. If it's nil-nil, who knows how it goes. I mean, they just come out. I think we need to put Wilson up front in the centre forward. We need him on the wing and put Mateta in the middle. And we hopefully might get a goal. Who knows? See you then, though. It's going to be eventful. Chelsea actually beat Arsenal to move it. Wow. Simply wow. Chelsea fans are finally working up and then we turn it on. What we got?
what I do, Chelsea corner, taken by Gallagher, it's a short one. Um, so I can defensively. Oh. And it's Kai Havis as well. A good player for Chelsea. Stop. Some of the worst defending you're ever going to see in the Premier League, man. What a load of crap. Now the game started over. And that's Chelsea's three points. We've got fans leaving already. Yeah, it was Kai Havertz. Yeah, it was him. I think, I think it was. I don't even care right now. Yeah, we're done. There's no plan B. He's got to get a striker on now or else the game's pretty much dead. But that's probably the winning goal. And we're walking away with a, another defeat. Oh, this club, man, is putting me through hell. No, he's, got, he's got no confidence in him right now, he's a Just shot. And we're going backwards again. Rubbish. Eze Shumanayi got off. Got a set of Hughes on Edward. Eze's on the yellow. So I can understand why, to be honest. But, I mean, I still want no confidence. But we might have a bit of bite up front slightly. But defensively, we're just exposed. And then that midfield, we've got no, I don't know, it's just open. Vieira's just been showing a yellow card for uh, running down the touchline. This must be the right old so and so, I swear to God. Oh, um, it's got to do something. Just... Here we go, Edward. It's such a... I mean, I don't know what that was. Oh. 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 There you go. Stamford Bridge I don't really know where to start I just feel really I mean I'll say this I just feel really flat depressed and weak and shattered you know that game put me through a lot it was very tense it was very close we did match Chelsea at times we didn't play that bad we didn't start off the game well but overall over the course of the game Chelsea just had the quality and they just had better players overall they were the best team they won we didn't play bad but the result another defeat that's six defeats out of seven another game Another loss, you know, no goals scored. I mean, come on. It's like, it's like we just completely lost our way. It's like we've lost our identity. It's like we're just gradually going to do a free for and end up in the bottom three at the end of January, February. And then that Brighton game next month will be the final nail in the coffin, not just for Palace, but for Patrick Vieira as well. Because if the results aren't improving, if they don't improve over the next few weeks, he's got to go. I'm not a Vieira out, but I just can't see no choice. You know, the, or he'll either walk. It's as simple as that. He's either going to get the sack by trying as best as he can with the players he's got, or he's just going to walk. Because we're not signing anyone in Jan. We haven't even got the money. We haven't even. We can't even afford a player for flip, flipping what ten mil. I mean, come on, it's a joke, shambles. It wasn't a bad performance, but again, the result highlights where we're at as a club. We haven't moved on. I look at teams like Brentford, Brighton, Fulham. They've moved on. They're pushing for Europe. 
They're finishing in the top 10 most seasons now by the looks of it. And look at us, we've been in the Premier League for a decade and this club's just falling and fading away. I generally think we're going to get relegated. I'm convinced with the way we're playing, with the results and the fact we're not scoring any goals and the quality of our players, we're going to get relegated. I look at other clubs coming up. Leeds, they've got money. Villa, they've got money. These are clubs that have come over the last three, four years. Brentford, Fulham, they're, they're getting better. They've got money. Where are we? The same position we were basically four years ago. We had one good summer window and that was last year because the, the Americans just about invested enough. Apart from that, we just got backwards. This was the season we were, to, we were meant to push on. We're out of two cups, you know. We're just going to be battling relegation. The best hope I can hope for is for, for us to stay in the Prem. And right now, I've got no confidence, no hope whatsoever. And I look at the games coming up. Man U twice, Newcastle. Brighton next month, which will be the massive one. And I just can't see us winning. I can't even see us scoring. I mean, at least today we had a few shots on goal. But we lost. And that's the thing that annoys me. And I, don't, I, just, I just don't know how that's going to do with the players' confidence. I just, I don't, I, just I, I don't know. I just, I'm really lost right now. I really just like, I've lost my passion. I think the one game that I'm saving my energy for, everyone's saving their energy and, you know, thoughts for, and that will be the Brighton game. Because forget these next three games coming up with Man United twice and Newcastle at home next week. Simple as. So I'll see you lot for the Man United vlog. Um, Man United preview, Man United vlog. Right now I just feel flat. And I'm really just lost. I really don't know where this club's going to go. The only way I can see it's going is down to the championship. It's as simple as that. We ain't going to spend any money anytime soon. Gallagher definitely ain't coming back after today. Simple as. We ain't got no quality in that team. And I could just see it getting a whole lot worse. You know, the wheels are coming off at Palace. And the beginning of it was when we lost to Fulham. This is the middle. And the end of it, you know, the end of the club potentially. Our fate will be sealed in that Brighton game. Because I can't see nothing but us losing it. It's as simple as that. I've got no confidence at all. See you on my next video.